Hey everybody, welcome to interview question series and in this video we'll be talking about the grid of concrete. All right, so we know that uh, the basic constituents of a concrete uh, mix are cement and aggregate. Right, so we got other things like additives and water as well, but uh, these two are the basic things. Okay, so the cement acts as the binding material. Binding material, right? And the aggregate, we got uh, two kinds of aggregate. So one is the fine and another is the coarse. All right, so the coarse aggregate forms the uh, basic uh, formwork frame, oh, sorry, uh, framework framework of the concrete and the fine aggregate uh, and the fine aggregate acts as the filler material and along with the cement it forms the binding material as well right so if this is our you know a coarse aggregate then the fine aggregate you know fills the voids and as well as between the two aggregates right and it binds to aggregate a uh, two coarse aggregates all right so suppose that using the sodium ratio of uh, these uh, three things, we made a batching of uh, concrete, right? And after that, we you know put uh, this concrete in a cube. So uh, this is 15 by 15 by 15 cube. So for testing the compressive strength, right? And curing it after 28 days, we subjected it to the compressive strength test, right? And we found that the compressive strength of this cube is M sorry is 20 mpa that is 20 megapascal so in this case the grade of concrete is m20 so here m liter stands for the mix and 20 refers to the strength gained by the concrete in 28 days all right so strength here is the characteristic strength characteristic strength all right so we know what the characteristic strength is all right so if you don't know that i'll uh, see the description below okay so the strength of any concrete uh, depends largely on the ratio or the proportion of these three materials the, if we change the proportion of you know a fine aggregate and the coarse aggregate the strength changes accordingly so it also depends on the other factors like curing and uh, the water cement ratio but uh, for now let us focus on these three things only right Okay, so if we change the ratio or the proportion of these three things, the concrete strength or the compressive strength changes accordingly. So due to this reason, we got different grades of the concrete. For example, we got like M10, so let us begin from 10. We got like M5, M7.5 as well. Then we got M15, then we got M20, M25, right? And we got like uh, M65, okay so uh, this was for now right so these are uh, grades of concrete uh, so if we change this proportion we get uh, the grade of concrete uh, accordingly so what is that proportion and how we proportionate that we'll see in the next video all right m10 m15 and m20 uh, they are called as the ordinary concrete ordinary uh, concrete and m25 to m60 so let us make m60 here so m25 to m60 all right so they are called as the standard standard concrete and from m65 to above they're called as the high strength concrete high strength concrete yeah so ordinary concrete is used for the ordinary works right ordinary civil works so for example concrete of a uh, concreting of a small house pcc you know rcc of you know uh, basic structures right so standard uh, concrete is used for the pre-stressed concrete and high strength concrete is used for the uh, very heavy and very high load bearing structures all right a recent course suggests that minimum of m20 con grade of concrete should be used for the rcc works 
in any case all right so you cannot go beyond this and m15 and m10 you can use for very you know minor kinds of work or, all right okay so for example if you are making any stable for a horse so you don't you don't go for high strength concrete right so if you are doing you know a casting of a column for any residential home so you have to use m20 okay so this is the difference all right all right so this is the meaning of the grades of concrete so in the next video we'll see like if you have to gain the strength of m25 right so suppose that uh, we are uh, suggested to make a concrete mix of m25 so how we adopt the ratio of these three things in order to get this strength so we'll see that in the next video all right so hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and take care